Austin Schultz in to lead off. He's let off every game this year. Jack Leiter misses low with the fastball to get us started. Yesterday and Leiter coming out firing here today. Breaking ball for a called strike three. Line to center. Bradfield towards the track. And gone! T.J. Collette goes yard, and Kentucky's on the board first. Collette takes lighter deep, 0-2. Well, lighter had him 0-2. I said he was going to have to say his prayers and gear up for one. He geared up for the fastball, and he got it. That fastball in the outside corner. Nice release after a tough night last night. Fastball, you see, didn't really have too much of a big swing. Just kind of got in the ground. Good extension right through the ball. The ball just carried out and out and out. Ball four. Lighter spikes the fastball. He struck out the first guy. Got ahead 0-2 on the second. He runs again. Ground ball snagged by Lighter. Still got him at second. And a double play. Jack Leiter gave up a home run, then struggled to locate, but gets out of it with a 1-6-3. New look, I like it. Swing and a miss, strike three. Change up down and away, 3-2 fools him. Throwing away, and now he's kind of reacting to the off-speed inside. Marsh gets him swinging for a 1-2-3, bottom of the first inning. Over the left field wall. Waits back on that curve ball, hits it to Tate Colwick deep in the six hole, and Keegan picks it out of the turf. Sophomore third baseman. First pitch swinging, bouncer to the right side, and Parker Noland, who's back at second, for the second out. Swing and a miss, strike three. How about a six pitch inning from Jack Leiter? His 36th start of the year, including 20 as the DH. Inside outs this one for Vandy's first base runner. Jack Bolger back in the lineup and back on the board with a single. Swing and a miss, strike three. Dylan Marsh gets Nolan with the 3-2 slider. Ground ball, diving play by Estep who gets up and gets Colwick at first. Nice sprawling play by Chase Estep to keep Kentucky ahead, one nothing after two full. Working what's not, and then go back out there and go to work. Swing and a miss, strike three with the curve ball. You see the D1 strikeout leaders, a couple names on there you might recognize. Leiter was ahead of Rocker by one coming into the weekend. Rocker's 11, vaulted him into the national lead last night as Hill pops one up to Colwick. Another quick out for Jack Leiter on weak contact. Brown's eyes, he wasn't getting through the ball. He wasn't finishing his fastball. That's something he's gotten back to and he got another soft out. A six pitch second inning and an eight pitch third for Jack Leiter. His homer was Arguably the least dramatic of the last three half innings as he strikes out here in his first at bat today. Fastball hit up the middle for a base hit. First fastball of the at bat makes TJ Collette two for two. Called strike three. Jack Leiter with his fourth strikeout on a fastball, 96 miles an hour. Go to work in 2021. I think. COVID was pretty good for a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. Jack Leiter strikes him out this time, freezing him with the slider. Hit him. An 0-2 hit Batsman extends the inning and pushes Collette into scoring position. Oh. Ground ball, Nolan playing deep, but not deep enough. Collette scores from second, Rhodes heads to third, and it's 2-0 Kentucky. RBI single for Chase Estep to double the lead. Great execution with two outs by Kentucky. See the fastball on the outside corner. Estep just kind of reaches out, pulls it over to the right. And because of the shift, Nolan playing a little bit more into the four hole. And what normally would have been a pretty rude. So it's just a wealth of knowledge for everybody. Estep goes to second uncontested, and Vandy will just let him have it. He took off just as Leiter was getting back on the bump, trying to draw a throw, and he just went. Yeah, it didn't seem like there was a lot of communication between Keegan or Nolan. I think it also just happened so fast that by the time there by Kentucky. Doesn't matter, that's strike three to Ryan Ritter. Kentucky doubles their lead with a run on a couple of singles and a hit by pitch. 
platform as a baseball player at Kentucky to help out a lot of young diabetics in the Lexington area at the Barnstable Brown Diabetes Center. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Jack Bolger is two for two in his return to the lineup. Left field. Rodriguez got under it. Austin Schultz makes the catch. Four scoreless innings for Dylan Marsh. Kentucky leads 2-0. Two out hit batsman and an RBI single. Made it 2-0 and Lewis goes out to right, but Isaiah Thomas is there. Hard hit ball, tracked down by IT. Jack Leiter in Dolphins gear. Line drive to left, Laniv came in. Now he goes back and makes the catch. Swing and a miss, strike three. A seven pitch, one, two, three, fifth inning for Jack Leiter. He's at three. Pulling up first. Bunts one. Gonna try and run it out as Marsh gloves it and gets the out at first. Colette navigates the tough throw. Time for the fastballs. Another bunt try. Right back to Marsh once again. Two up, two down. Out to left. Down the line. Schultz over and he makes the catch. Ended up in foul territory, but Austin Schultz makes the tough play in a road ballpark. Ball four. Jack Leiter not happy with himself, and TJ Collette aboard for the third time in three plate appearances. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number eight for Leiter as he gets a new with the fast move. He has a very short lead, stays put. Ground ball to the right side. Nolan to second for one. Colwick to first, safe. Would have been a very tough double play with a lot of mileage. Popped up. Nolan in shallow right center makes the catch. Jack Leiter's through six, but trailing two nothing. Hit hard, base hit. That's hit number three for the Vandy boys as Jason Gonzalez starts him off in the sixth. It always for Vandy. Bunts this one toward first. In between Marsh and Colette, and he's safe. Enrique Bradfield Jr. creating chaos per usual. Inning for Vandy. Down low. Gonzalez going to third. Bradfield follows him to second. They're in scoring position with nobody out. It's a 1-0 count. Hit him. Base is loaded. Nobody out, and Dominic Keegan coming up. And middle guy's back with a 2-0 lead. Hard ground ball right to Collette, who comes home for the force. Collette was playing in, and they got the lead man. Stays 2 nothing. The third and second. Foul tip, strike three. Big second out for Austin Strickland. Couple of air outs so far. Line drive, left field in for a base hit. Bradfield scores. Thomas headed home, and we are tied. Two-run single for C.J. Rodriguez. Snaps an 0 for 14 skid. And Rodriguez didn't waste any time and came out swinging. And Tim Corbin had the windmill going quickly. There was a no doubter that he was going to score two on that one. Take a look at the swing. Fastball on the outside corner, reaches around, drops right in front of Schultz. I actually didn't know if Tim Corbin was going to send him because the ball got to Schultz pretty quickly. But Thomas able to score pretty easily. Tuesday. Good take by Nolan, and it gets through. Second wild pitch of the inning, and the Commodores have two in scoring position with two outs. In the air, but too high out to center. Cam Hill makes the catch, and the inning's over, but the Vandy boys tie the game. Oh, and two. Line drive, base hit into left field. Fourth hit for UK. Two out knock for Zeke Lewis, trying to break this tie. Runner going, throw to second. Got him! CJ Rodriguez to Tate Colwick, who's fired up after putting the tag on Zeke Lewis. The guy on. Four pitch walk. Go ahead, run aboard in the seventh inning. Line drive, base hit into right field. Troy Leneev keeps on hitting, and it's first and second with nobody out. 
Gonzalez sacrifices towards first. Colette bobbles it. Still gets the out at first. That was actually a helpful bobble, I think. Yeah, that's exactly. They were trying to go to third base. You actually saw Colette come in. Now, and Enrique Bradfield Jr. is intentionally walked. He led 1 0 and 2 0. Thomas towards third and into left field. Vandy Boys take the lead with Leneve headed home. It's 4 2. Two run go ahead single for Isaiah Thomas. I think the defensive alignment kind of helped out Thomas there because it looked like Eastep was playing in, hoping for a ground ball to either go home or go to second base. But because he was pulled in, he didn't have the greatest angle on the ball towards his left. So it gets underneath his glove, and Commodore is easily able to Bradfield takes off, caught in between, now headed for third, and they got him. Bradfield left early, and Holt Jones executed the rundown well. Foul tip, strike three. So Jones come on and does his job, but the Commodores go up 4-2 on a two-run single by Isaiah Thomas. It almost plays like a cutter, as we saw there. That one grounded towards short. Long charge for Colwick. Throw to first, way late. First into the series for Austin Schultz, and the tying runs coming to the plate without Kentucky ahead. Up the middle, another base hit just out of Colwick's reach. First and second with one down, and Araja New next. But he dials 1 1. Off the fist, right to Nolan. One at second, double play. Hugh Fisher does the job on senior night. Commodore's up 4 2 in the middle of the eighth inning. Dandy can lock down a buy into the double elimination portion of Hoover with a win. Jack Bolger to deep center and gone. Jack Bolger way out of here. He missed first <laughs> and it's 5 2. A heck of a swing from Bolger. Holy cow, he gets inserted in the game. He has made his presence known. Gets it to the furthest part of the park. And gets a few jokes from his teammates as he forgot to touch first base. It was a Mark McGuire tribute, everybody. Take a look at the swing. Fastball up in the zone. This is a, such a strong kid. Gets really through it. Gets everything into it. Let's take a look at rounding first. Oh, oh! I think he tripped over yeah. it, but he wanted to make sure. Make sure he got it. <laughs> Got it. Towards the end of the season, stuff's kind of wrapped up, but still a lot to go. Another line drive to left. Rodriguez keeps this one fair into the corner. A home run and a double to start the Vandy eighth, working with a three-run lead. Definitely was good to see. Tapper towards third. Long charge for E-step. Safe at first. First and third with one down. Center field. Dead center, and out of here! Three-run homer for Troy Leneve, who just keeps on hitting. It's 8-2, Vandy. Wow. That's all you gotta say is, wow. That kid just continues to hit. You saw the reaction from Hill, the center fielder, like, ah, oh, again? This time with a few guys on, take a look at the swing. Fastball, I mean, it's right down the middle. You saw Ramsey point up and say, that's a pop fly. It's a little bit more than that. I mean, that is rattling. Full count pitch. Ball four. Swing and a miss, strike three. The Commodores send eight men to the plate in a lengthy. Line to right. Into the gap and to the wall for extra bases. Rhodes at second with a one-out double. Colwick charges. Tough play at short. Vandy boys win! Safe. We play on. Grounder to Gonzalez. Throw to first. Got him! Vandy boys win! 8-2, and this time it'll stand, and the Commodores, for real, lead the SEC East with one game to go this year.